All right, buckle up, because today we're going all in on that epic 20-day Cape Town to Victoria Falls tour you've been eyeing. You know the one, right? Four countries, jam-packed with those bucket list experiences, enough to make your Instagram pop for months. But we're going deeper than just the highlights reel. We're going to unpack everything, the nitty-gritty, traveler tales, you name it, so you can decide if this is your dream adventure. First things first, this tour is tagged as most popular for a reason. 4.8 stars from almost 500 reviews, that's a whole lot of happy adventures. And speaking of adventures, remember Helen and Dennis? They were wondering about the whole senior friendly thing. Well, Helen, at 74 years young, mind you, she was over the moon. Said it was totally manageable and even called the accommodation surprisingly luxurious. So if you're worried about things being too rugged, sounds like they've struck a good balance. And it's not just for the uh, younger crowd either. Fabio F., a sprightly 56-year-old, proudly proclaimed he can still camp. <laughs> Love that. Shows you this trip attracts a real mix of people, which I think is fantastic. Imagine all the stories and perspectives swirling around the campfire, right? And those stories are GLD, let me tell you. Like, remember Skip R? He's the one who snagged that incredible leopard photo seriously. <laughs> National Geographic worthy. He had an interesting thought, though. Suggested spending two nights at each lodge instead of just one, especially in the parks, to really soak it all in. Oh, that's a great point. Two nights versus one, especially in those incredible national parks, completely changes the experience. Right. Which, come to think of it, ties in nicely with what Dan B. Kim mentioned about finding that personal enlightenment through connecting with the locals. Maybe a good compromise would be one night at the lodge, then, for those who are up for it, a night at a locally owned guest house or something. Get the best of both worlds, a little comfort, and a genuine taste of local life. It's those unexpected connections that really stick with you, you know? Speaking of connections, Peggy, she was a bit hesitant about the whole overland style at first, you know, picturing bumpy rides, cramped vehicles. But guess what? She was pleasantly surprised. Said the small group size, often as small as four people, completely changed the vibe. Felt more like traveling with friends than being herded around on some rigid schedule. Which brings us to the, shall we say, slightly less glamorous but equally important part of the equation. The nitty gritty details. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Joining us now is our resident Southern Africa expert who just so happens to be a whiz at crafting itineraries that are perfectly in tune with what travelers actually want. It's all about finding that sweet spot, right? where the logistics fade into the background and you can really lose yourself in the experience. Exactly. So let's talk turkey costs, dates, what's included, all that jazz. Starting with the elephant in the room, I'm seeing a price listed in South African Rand, which always throws me for a loop. Plus there's this whole single supplement thing and something about next year's price being higher. Help a traveler out here. Absolutely. So that Rand price you see, think of it as your starting block. To get a true sense in your currency, you'll need to do a little exchange rate dance. Now, that single supplement that's key for our solo adventurers out there is basically an extra cost for having your own room throughout. But, and this is a big, but they offer some pretty sweet discounts on specific departure dates. Discounts, you say? Like a sale, but for adventure. Tell me more. Precisely. And not just a few pennies off either. We're talking 10% on some departures, even a whopping 15% off in September. So if your schedule's got some wiggle room, those discounted dates could mean serious savings. Okay, that's officially on my radar. Who doesn't love a good deal, right? Now I'm also seeing this included excluded list, and honestly, it's a bit overwhelming. What are some common things people tend to overlook that can end up blowing their budget? Oh, those lists can be sneaky, right? <laughs> but one biggie is visas. Not every nationality needs one for every country on the itinerary, so it's essential to double check that well in advance. Because those visa fees can add up fast. Like nobody's business. Then there are those sneaky hidden costs that often slip people's minds. Things like snacks for the road, drinks beyond what's included with meals, you know, gotta stay hydrated, souvenirs to remember the trip by, and very importantly, tips for your guides and crew. Oh, absolutely. A little appreciation goes a long way. So ballpark figure, how much extra should someone realistically set aside for those incidentals? Better to overestimate than be cost short. Right. For a 20-day adventure like this, I'd say at least an extra $500 to $1,000 USD. Gives you that cushion for spontaneous fun and ensures you're not constantly counting pennies. Music to my ears. I'd much rather have a little leftover for a celebratory drink at the end, wouldn't you? Speaking of the journey, let's dive into that itinerary, shall we? Okay, picture this. Day one, you touch down in Cape Town, step off the plane, and bam, Table Mountain is right there, 
practically begging you to come explore. Talk about a welcome, right? I bet you'd have your camera out before even leaving the airport. Oh, absolutely. It's one of those views that just begs to be captured. And speaking of capturing beauty, day two takes you on a scenic drive through Namaka land. Mm. Now, if you're into Mother Nature showing off, timing is everything here. Gotta be that legendary flower season, right? The one everyone raves about carpets of wildflowers as far as the eye can see. Bingo. If you can swing a trip between July and September, get ready for a color explosion. Think endless fields blanketed in vibrant blooms. Photographer's dream. Bucket list material for sure. Okay, you've convinced me. I'm rearranging my travel schedule as we speak. Okay. So day three, Fish River Canyon. I'll be honest, had to do a little Google Earth recon on that one. What's the big deal? Oh, get it. We're talking Africa's grandest canyon. Yeah. Not just a canyon, but the E Canyon. Yeah. The scale of it will blow your mind. Okay. Now that's what I call a view. And then hold on tight days four through six. It's all about the Namib Desert, those iconic sand dunes, landscapes that belong on another planet, and stargazing like you wouldn't believe. And don't forget the soundtrack. Peggy, in her review, she mentioned the barking geckos, said they're surprisingly adorable once you get over the initial. Uh, Love those little details. Adds to the magic, you know? Okay, okay. moving right along, days seven and eight, we hit Swakopmund, which feels like a choose-your-own-adventure kind of stop. Totally. This is where you can let your inner thrill seeker loose. Dolphin cruise, maybe some sandboarding down those epic dunes, or even, wait for it, skydiving. Okay, that's next level. Though some might appreciate a chance to catch their breath after all that driving too. But no time for napping just yet. From there, it's off to Atosha National Park for days 10 through 12. The reviews were calling it a wildlife haven with guaranteed sightings, so color me intrigued. Oh, they're not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Itosha is known for its incredible biodiversity, elephants, lions, giraffes, you name it. It's like stepping right into a wildlife documentary. Remember Skip and his amazing leopard photo? That's the kind of magic you can expect in Itosha. Every moment, a potential National Geographic shot. I love it. All right, then things take an interesting turn. Days 15 and 16, it's off to the Okavango Delta. Now, the itinerary mentioned a two-day split from the main truck, which piqued my interest. What's the deal with that? Uh, this is where logistics meet pure immersive experience. See, by breaking into smaller groups away from the main truck, you get this incredible intimacy with the Delta. Imagine gliding through tranquil waterways in a traditional Mokoro canoe. Just you, the sounds of nature, and lush greenery all around. Talk about a serene escape, and just when you think it can't get any more epic, bam, Victoria Falls on days 19 and 20. Get ready to be humbled. Standing before one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the thunderous roar, the mist rising like something mystical. It's a powerful experience. Music to my ears. Now, for those who like their adventures with a side of adrenaline, what about getting up close and personal with the falls? Oh, you know it. Whitewater rafting on the Zambezi River. Now that's a story for the grandkids. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. So there you have it. We've covered breathtaking landscapes, up-close wildlife encounters, even a dash of adrenaline pumping action. This trip really does have it all. But before you sprint off to book those flights, we've got one last nugget of wisdom to share. Tucked away on the tour website, often overlooked, but oh so valuable, is the pre-departure section. Think of it as insider advice straight from the horse's mouth. It's a goldmine of practical tips and need-to-knows, often things you wouldn't even think to ask but can make a world of a difference to your trip. Exactly. We're talking packing lists tailored to the adventure, insider tips on what to expect from the climate and culture, even a sneak peek at the delicious food you'll be enjoying. And don't underestimate the power of connecting with your fellow travelers beforehand. They even have a dedicated forum where you can swap tips, ask questions, and even start planning some pre- or post-tour adventures together. It's like building that camaraderie before you even set foot on the plane. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Our deep dive into the 20-day Cape Town to Victoria Falls Ultimate Tour. We've trekked through traveler tales, explored hidden gems, and armed you with the knowledge to decide if this is the adventure you've been waiting for. But our journey doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Head over to our website. All the links are in the show notes. And tell us about your dream Southern Africa experience. Until next time, happy travels.